What up everybody, welcome back to Pearl Publications YouTube channel on the channel talk about zines and DIY publishing. And I have probably some of my favorite kind of zines to get from people. It's a homemade DIY zine from a young cartoonist named Paige. It's called High School Life by Paige Cook, senior year. And it's really fun and inviting I like the panel layouts. She's really, she's really going for it. And this is some of my funnest stuff to like really look at because it's, it's very fun, empowering. The story is not very coherent. But, you know, when you're barely starting off, it's kind of hard to really make a coherent story. It's almost like a free flow of consciousness. But one thing that this brings to my mind is how if you were to remake the same zine over and over again, or the same comic story over and over again, and you do it long enough, you're, you're going to get really good at it. So when I look at things like this, I think to myself, like, all right, as time progresses, she can do the same story and just make it better. It's one of those things that when I look at my zines, I think the same thing. Like sometimes I consider remaking certain stuff because as time progresses, you get better at it. So it's nice to keep these with you because you never know when you're going to come back to it. I actually have a story right now that I circled back on, Punch Drunk Zen, which I'm sure you guys have... Uh, if you guys have been subscribed to the channel for a bit, you probably see me working on it. And it's one of those things that I started a long time ago. And like I'm barely doubling back. And that's why they always say don't throw away any of your stuff as a creator. But so it's something like let's say this eight page, this eight panel page, right? Let's say we're gonna remake it. Right, so that'd be the first iteration. Right, like a blueprint already of the story. But it goes back to that thing of, if you were to do that same page over and over again, you start getting it more dialed in. And this is how easy it is to like really script and make a comic. And that's why I find this kind of stuff pretty empowering because it's very free. There's sometimes I think a lot of times creators, they get lost in their own heads. I always think about this director I worked with on a film project and he swore up and down. He was going to get an Oscar for the film. He never finished the film. And that's my point of like sometimes we worry more about the accolades the applause, the money, the profit, what there is to gain from a very successful story as opposed to just telling the story. And when I see things like this, it really feels free and uninhibited from that kind of stuff. And like I said, like the story's here, the layout's here. It would just be about doing it and redoing it and redoing it enough till it's fucking, you know, dialed in. Right, like even the splash pages are, are just well pronounced, right? Like, are you crazy? Right? So see if we can't do a, a quick are you crazy splash page. Right, so then the splash page here, and there's two splash pages in this comic, right? You're dramatic, man. I know. And she's like leaning. I like this one a lot more actually. She's leaning like oh, I don't want to talk about it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right, but like even the body gesture. Uh, Paige as a writer she knows that you know what she's trying to communicate and that's funny that reminds me of like some of the Archie comics but uh, let's see my version of that
So going back to that point, stories here, and this is why, like if you look at um, a lot of cartoonists, like uh, Javier Hernandez that does El Muerto, uh, Ed Pisker that does uh, Red Room right now, you know, they do their thumbnails and they do their first draft of the story just like this. Right, and then you come back later, and so then this, this thing that you understand and you communicate, right? Her brushing her friend off, her friend telling her, you're dramatic, man, right? She's like, I know, as she's getting ready to go to sleep, right? Like, it all translates, and then that becomes this, right? Because you know it, you want it to be a splash page. And that's why uh, this kind of stuff, man, like, for all the creators out there, just work on doing this and just really getting the story out and then whenever you have the time and the want you can go back and really uh fine tune all the panels and that's you know these are the kind of things i fucking love getting like i said like just making for the sake of making with no ulterior motives very free and empowering and uh i really hope that uh page continues to make zines and to you know if she wants to make comics to keep working on making comics you know so just wanted to show this off. High School Life by Paige Cook. One of the zinesters to look out for.